Hi, Dr. Ann. Thank you for joining me for this tapping session on personal protective equipment, or rather, how we're all dealing with this suboptimal uh, protective equipment. If you are new to tapping, please visit my website, medicinewheel.org, and refer to the introduction video um, and the other resources there. And then when you're ready, come back and join us. So as we're starting, I first want to remind you to repeat after me, but if I say something that doesn't really describe what you are experiencing, please change the words so that it is a more personalized experience. We're all dealing with COVID right now. And I think it's a, been a universal problem that, that there's a shortage of personal pr protective equipment. Um, we just don't have enough masks, enough pappers, enough gowns. And I know a lot of us, including myself, have found that to be really frightening and, um, and irritating. <laughs> So as we start, I would like you to kind of check in with yourself and see how you're feeling about your particular status when it comes to having adequate protective equipment and how you're feeling around that. And I'd like you to, to ask yourself on a scale of, of one to 10, with one being, you know, completely secure and safe and 10 being like, I, f I feel like, you know, how we've heard some people say, it, like I'm a lamb going to the slaughter, that I have zero protection. Where on that scale are you falling right now when it, it comes to how you feel about the protective equipment that you have? And so please make a note of that so we can refer back to it. Okay, so I'm gonna check in with myself. I'm feeling right now that I'm probably at about a seven. So yeah, I have, I definitely have some anxiety um, about my, my two N95 masks that I, I am reusing. So let's start by finding the tender points underneath our collarbone. Let's really feel around for a sensitive spot. Let's take a nice deep breath. And now let's just imagine for a moment that we are going into a, a hospital room where we know that there's a confirmed COVID-19 patient and they are currently hacking. We can see and hear them. They are coughing all over the place right now and we need to go in there. So just imagine yourself putting on whatever equipment you have <laughs> and, and then entering that room. And check in and see if you are experiencing any sensation in your body as you do that. I just felt um, my stomach drop. Okay, so nice deep breath. <sighs> Let's also just kind of tap on our chest for a second. Okay, and now let's go up to our eyebrows. I'm feeling unsafe. <sighs> this unsafe feeling. Side of the eyes. I'm allowing myself to acknowledge that I'm feeling really unsafe right now. And actually, you know, just picturing that, my number actually just jumped up. I, I just jumped up to probably about a nine. So all of these doubts, did I put everything on right? Is this gonna be enough? Do I have the protection that I need? I'm scared under the eye. I'm giving myself permission to acknowledge that right now, 
I'm really scared. I'm scared that this aerosolized virus is going to get on me. <sighs> Under the nose. What if my mask isn't, doesn't have a seal? What if the seal's been compromised? <sighs> Choosing to send some love and compassion to the part of me that might be freaking out quietly a little bit right now. <laughs> Deep breath. <sighs> this feels so unsafe. This feels really dangerous. I acknowledge how challenging it is to have to face this situation. Deep breath. Let's go down to our chest. I'm giving myself permission to relax a little bit. Even with this fear, even with this knowledge that I'm potentially in danger. I'm in a dangerous environment. And I could get sick. I could become contaminated. I could pass this on to someone else. Deep breath. So right where the ribs jut out, this fear. This fear that I could become contaminated and pass this on to someone else. Deep breath. Let's go to the side of the ribs. This fear that I could be contaminated and pass this on to someone that I love or someone that's really vulnerable. Deep breath. Inside of the wrists. I acknowledge that this is really frightening. This fear. This fear in my body that I don't have the protection that I need. I acknowledge this fear. And I give this permission, this fear permission to stay exactly where it is. And I know that that doesn't feel good. We actually, I know I don't wanna carry the fear around because it's uncomfortable. But on the other hand, I do wanna carry the fear around because it's keeping me vigilant, it's keeping me aware. So even though this fear is uncomfortable I'm choosing to acknowledge that this fear is keeping me vigilant. This fear is keeping me aware. It's helping me pay attention when I take whatever protective equipment that I do have on and off. This fear is allowing me, let's move to the thumb, to feel gratitude for the equipment and the protection that I do have, for the awareness that I do have. So even though I'm afraid, I'm open to the possibility that it's okay for me to continue carrying this fear in my body Continue carrying this fear in my mind, but relax in its presence. Let's move to the next finger. What if I could be more relaxed even with this fear? What if I could be more relaxed and stay aware and stay vigilant and stay grateful 
Would it be possible to carry just a little bit less fear? Yeah. So let's take a nice deep breath. And let's move to the middle finger. I'm open to the possibility that I have the ability to remain vigilant, to remain aware, to appreciate the equipment that I do have without the current level of fear. I'm open to the possibility that I can maintain the option of going back into that full fear state whenever I need to. If I start to lose focus, deep breath. I'm open to the possibility. Let's move to the ring finger. Remember it's the opposite side. I'm open to the possibility that I can actually be more aware, more efficient, and more present with my patient if I'm actually more relaxed, regardless of how much personal protective equipment I have on or available to me. Deep breath. Pinky finger. I'm allowing myself to realize that even if I have inadequate protective equipment, I still have the knowledge and ability and awareness to keep myself safe. Deep breath inside of the hand. What if I could become more aware and more relaxed as I enter and exit my patient's rooms, taking on and off my equipment, being very mindful of how and when I touch my face, my hair, my equipment, and allowing myself to take care of myself and decontaminate myself regardless of how much equipment that I have. Allowing myself to remember that I have a lot of power here. And I'm choosing to use the power that I do have, using my personal power. Deep breath. And let's go to the top of the head. I'm allowing myself to acknowledge that personal protective equipment includes so much more than a papper, a gown, an N95 mask. I'm allowing myself to realize that the most powerful personal protective equipment that I have is my mind, my awareness, my desire to make sure that I wash my hands really thoroughly, that I really pay attention to how and when I touch my face or eyes or equipment. I have this power. This is my personal power, and this is the most powerful thing I have. <sighs> Where the eyebrows start. Allowing myself to relax and feel safe, remembering that I have this power. Remembering that I am putting myself first and I'm using all of the resources that I have 
including my awareness and my mind, to keep myself safe. Okay, under the eyes. So now I'm going to ask you to check in and see if your number has changed at all. So when I started, I was at a seven, then I think I went up to a nine. Right now I'm feeling pretty good. I'm probably feeling like I'm at about a two, which is, which is great. So just notice if, if you've had a shift. And yeah, now let's just kind of wrap things up by tapping all over our bodies and reminding ourselves I'm here to keep you safe. I'm committed to keeping you safe. I'm showing up for you. <sighs> Maybe this is more than enough. Great. All right, thank you so much for joining me and please come back.